He is God's soul. There is only one way for every single child of God to receive God's divine love. And that is by a direct connection between the soul of the person and God's soul. When you think about it, it makes sense. Because why would God have a connection with one person that's special and not with other people? It wouldn't make any sense, would it? If you had, if you had five children, wouldn't you try, wouldn't you feel a feeling of love if you were in your pristine condition? Wouldn't you feel a feeling of love to all of those children equally? Mm -hmm. So why would God then create a heap of children that, that he can't connect to as much because he doesn't want to? That wouldn't make any sense, would it? Even the best of human fathers would want to connect to all of his children. So why wouldn't God want to connect to all of his children? So each of you has the ability to connect with God directly. It's a very important one thing to understand. The way the connection occurs is through what they call the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a conduit. It's a cord, if you like, that connects you with God directly. No other being in the universe has the ability to connect you with God. No other being. Does that make sense, Adrian? Uh, can a person be a conductor for God's love? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can reflect the love of God that's in your soul to another person, mm -hmm. but you can't be a conductor for God's love. There is only one conductor for God's love, and that is this this conductor that God created, the Holy Spirit. 